Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a mobile TCP guys. Okay, so in our last lecture, we discussed about snooping TCP, right? Before that lecture, we discussed about indirect TCP. So basically with some upgradations, we are converting this TCP to be more usable, right? Yes. So in current generation, we are using this mobile TCP only. Okay. Yes. So basically the structure will be in this way, guys. So basically you will be having a wired connection, the sender. Okay. So he will be sending the data to the same sorry to the access point so here instead of access point we will be calling him as superior host guys sh so basically we are removing one facility of access point and forming it into a superior superior host or sh so basically our access point used to have buffer right so if you remove the buffer and it is just transmitting wired to wireless so that is nothing but your superior host guys okay so he will send with the wireless communication okay here unmodified tcp that is nothing but classical tcp and after that it is nothing but wireless tcp okay yes so again here also we are having a end to end connection guys okay so the buffering concept has been removed here that's it okay so here the su the supervisor ho supervisory host is a type of a mediator who snoops everything so basically still the supervisor will be checking everything guys so that is the reason why we gave the name as supervisor so that is the only task he is having right now right yes but he does not have any buffer and he does not retransmit anything okay so he is not storing anything and he is not retransmitting anything he is a just observer that is the reason why he is called a supervisor got it yes so one thing he does is when the packet is lost he didn't receive it that is he did not receive any acknowledgement he informs the sender mobile is disconnected and he will make the sender window size zero so this might sound really bad but it is a good thing for the sender guys so basically whenever the device which is in between that is nothing but the superior host supervisor host so whenever the supervisor host did not receive acknowledgement for whichever the packet the sender sent so it did not receive the acknowledgement back so it did not observe the acknowledgement okay sorry for that so assume that the sender sent a packet okay so it was received by the receiver but it did not send the acknowledgement so it did not send the acknowledgement so in that situation the supervisory host will say he, he did not observe the acknowledgement right so it did not pass so he will be saying that okay so the device has been disconnected so let us stop sending the data he is in a rude way you can say so he will be just saying that let us stop transmission there is no mobile device on the other side so in that way he will be responding and he will forcefully stop the stop the sending of the data from the sender side so assume that the send, sending window size was 12 when he stopped okay so you remember that case okay yes so he will stop it that's the main point here and then when sh notices the mobile host is connected so basically after some time mobile host will be saying right i did not got for 35th packet i did not got 36th packet like that he will be requesting right so at that time the supervisor will say okay okay so the mobile device is back so let us give uh, him the files so basically it will reassign the speed the 12 speed the 12 window speed and it will start sending the data okay he will give back the original window size and continues from the exact point where he stopped so basically if he sent up until 1 to 30 packets now he they will be continuing from 31 without any technical issues right yes so this is the major advantage of you can say this is the major advantage of the uh, TCP guys the advanced TCP you can say or the mobile TCP right yes so the major advantages here is it maintains the TCP end to end there is no change in the sender side TCP okay so it is almost the same so the only disadvantage is many modifications are done to the SH right so removing the buffer and all those things are also a disadvantage you can say okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the tcp classic the classical tcp and the traditional tcp right yes so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the wireless application guys that is nothing but a wamp protocol okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching